On this episode of Simply Airsoft, we're taking a look at a well-known pistol. Me personally, I haven't given enough love. And that, of course, is the Elite Force 1911 TAC. This is one amazing CO2 pistol. Me personally, I love 1911s in real steel. It's one of my favorite kind of pistols. I've shot in real 1911s for a long time. I love the 45 ACP. It's such, it, it kicks, but once you get used to the round, it's great. And Elite Force did an amazing job bringing this over to Airsoft. Unlike its Vietnam styled A1 brother, the Elite Force 1911 TAC comes in a really nice two tone. This being a tactical 1911, it does have some great features that the um, Elite Force A1 1911 does it that makes this very, very useful for airsoft. If we take a look at the slide here, we can see that um, the gun has one of my favorite features, which is the white dots on the uh, sight posts. I love it when pistols have this feature because these bright white dots make it so, so easy to sight in my targets on the fly. Moving down the slide, we can see we have some really, really nice bright white Elite Force trades right here that reads Elite Force 1911 TAC with Elite Force's little symbol right there and that looks great but if we go on the other side here we can see we have your typical painted Umarex warning label. I hate this personally. I wish they didn't do this and I wish they would do like what a lot of other companies do and they just put a sticker on there but maybe they have to do it by law. I'm not sure but um, Elite Force, please stop printing this on there because it deteriorates from the look of an awesome gun. Another thing that the, the, the tactical version has that the A1 doesn't is um, two different grooves for you to, um, to cock the weapon from. So depending on your cock style, how you like to wrap your gun back, there's uh, different options for that depending on your style of play. We move to the rear of the slide, we can see we have a really, really nice skeletonized hammer. It looks great on the, um, the tactical version of this pistol. It also has a, um, a larger beaver tail safety and it also has a ambidextric safety on the side. The slide as a whole is a great side. It's just one piece of metal. It's really, really solid and really nice. I can see this gun lasting a long, long time and it makes a great sound when you rack it back. One really nice out-of-the-box feature that this pistol has is the orange tip doubles as a 14 millimeter negative thread. So if you like to add suppressors to your pistol, this one lets you do that really, really easily. If you want to increase the range of your pistol, you can put a longer barrel on it and put the suppressor on there. And that's, that's just a really nice feature to have out of the box. Moving to the lower frame, we can see we have a rail system at the bottom here. This is also really nice. This being a tactical pistol, this was going to have that. And this is a really nice feature. So if you're playing in CQB or a really dark environment and you need a light or laser on your pistol, you can put one on there with ease. And that's another great out of the box feature. We can also see right there that the gun is a really, really nice looking skeletonized trigger. The grips that come stock in this gun are really nice. To me personally, I think they feel pretty well. They are plastic. It's one of the only plastic parts on this gun. Um, if you're not a fan of this style of grip, don't worry about that because you can take real steel 1911 grips and put them on your um, Elite Force 1911. I've done that with Magpul grips. They fit just fine. There was no problem with that. So if you aren't a fan of the stock grips, there's no need to worry about that. You can customize it and put your own on there. Another nice thing about this pistol that a lot of pistols have, and I'm happy this one has it too, is it has a lanyard loop at the bottom. So if you like to use the lanyards with your pistol, you can use it with this one. This pistol does have a hop-up. And if you want to access that, you have to remove the slide. To remove the slide, you have to put the slide on this, um, this second notch here and push the slide release out and the slide will come off and that will reveal the hop-up wheel. This is a CO2 powered gun and out of the box it comes with one uh, 12 gram CO2 powered 14 round mag. It's a 
Pretty well built mag. I'm not a huge fan of the limited capacity, but Elite Force does make a 27 round extended mag. So if you're using this gun as a primary in CQB, I would recommend taking a look at those. Out of the box, this gun shoots at around 350 to 380 FPS. I've seen it steer more around the 350 lower range, personally when I've chronoed it, which is great because that means I can use this as a sidearm in an outdoor game, and I can use it as a primary on an indoor game. Um, the FPS allows me to do that. And personally, if you're going to run this gun, or if you own it already, I recommend using .25s or .28s in this gun because they shoot like a laser beam. If you're wondering how I carry my 1911, I actually use a Matrix hard shell holster. These are really nice holsters. It's what I use for my uh, Taurus PT-99. They're really well-built holsters. I don't see this breaking anytime soon. It's made out of a pretty strong polymer. It's, um, it's for people like me who want a nice hard shell holster to use for their sidearm but don't want to spend money on something like a G-Code. G-Codes are relatively not that expensive, but once you total up things on choosing a carry option, and um, the holster itself, it does get kind of expensive because G-Codes don't come with um, a carry option stock. They just come with the holster, and 90% of the time, G-Codes aren't in stock. But um, these are great alternatives. Uh, they come with different carry options. So out of the box, they do come with a, um, a paddle. But if you're not a fan of that, you can also get a belt loot for it. You can get a molly system, and you can also get a droplet for it. So lots of different things. Just a, a little thing I wanted to touch upon if you were curious how I carried my 1911. If you haven't heard of this pistol, I'm really surprised, and you probably live underneath a rock, because those, these are really, really well-known pistols. They've been around since, I think, 2011. Um, it's a great pistol. It's one of those, if it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of things, because not much has changed on this pistol from its initial release, but um, I love this pistol. It's from my personal collection. It's a pistol I purchased with my own money. I, I can't stress, I just, I can't praise this gun enough. Uh, it's mainly because I'm a huge fan of 1911s and the real steel. I own a real 1911. I love shooting the 45 ACP. It's a great uh, gun for recreational shooting. And personally, if you're looking for a gun for home defense, I recommend, if you don't want a shotgun, I recommend a 45 just because it's it's a decent size round for that. But besides the point, um, I love this Elite Force 1911. It's such a solid gun. It sounds great. The CO2 lets it kick like a mule and run for about four mag refills. I can fill this at least four times before it starts to show some kind of FPS drop. It's, it's an amazing gun. I highly, highly recommend if you're looking into getting a CO2 powered airsoft pistol, you take a look at the Elite Force 1911 A1 TAC. That's it for this review, guys. If you like this review, don't forget to click that like button. And if you want to see more from me, click that subscribe button. I will see you in the next review. Catch you later, guys.